Hey everyone, I'm Allison with Green Goddess Plants and Seeds and with an exciting update to our pepper starting. Um, a week ago on January 31st, I started some pepper seeds using the baggie method and I was briefly checking them last night and I noticed that the orange habanero have started to sprout. So that's a good, good thing. So today I'm just gonna get some of these potted up I'm gonna open them up and we'll take a look and see what else is happening within the in the little package. I know there's at least one that's sprouted. Okay, I'm just gonna unfold this and just show you this, these seeds that have sprouted. There's at least two for sure, with a third one looking that it, it's almost ready to send out. So I don't, I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, sorry about the camera, <laughs> amateur camera, um, right here, this seed here has got a little root on it and then there's another one that's just starting and then I noticed there's a third one that looks like the, the seed is starting to open up for a sprout, so there's the seeds. Okay, so we're gonna get busy and uh, get these seeds into some soil. So uh, I've got my, my potting mix, so it's just an ordinary potting mix. There's, it's nothing special, nothing you know specific. Um, I've wetted it down so it's nice and moist. It's not sopping wet, but it's it's wet enough that when you, when you gently squeeze it, it'll hold together. Now, the only thing I did add to the soil was some ground cinnamon. Now, ground cinnamon is a natural fung fungicide, or has natural antifungal properties, and so that's what I use to prevent things like damping off disease, which is a fungal disease, and will wipe out your seedlings in no time if you don't do something about it. So, um, over the years, I've discovered that cinnamon is one of the best things that works, and I know lots of people have tried it with mixed results, and um, I think it's... It really matters in how you apply it. So I found mixing the ground cinnamon right into the soil is the best method, or the best way to use the ground cinnamon as a fungicide. Now I've tried sprinkling it on the surface of the soil and that was the least effective method. So I tried mixing it in and found that I had much, much better, much better results. So the soil is prepped and ready to go. I've got my cell pack. Now I'm probably going to plant, now I've only got five seeds here. Um, I'm probably going to be planting at least two per cell. Um, normally what I do when I start my seeds is I will sow multiple seeds in each cell just because space is at a premium here. You know, our rooms are small. We don't have a lot of space for, you know, a bunch of trays. So I will, Normally I would put at least five or six seeds in each cell to, you know, uh, conserve on space and then when they're ready to transplant out, I just separate them and transplant them into individual pots. So, but for today I won't be, you know, sowing them as heavily as I normally would. So I'm just going to fill my, fill my little seed box here, my cell pack. And then I'm just going to tamp it down just very gently, just like that. And a little bit more on that one. There we go, just like that, very gentle. So that it's got some firmness, but it's not totally loose, so that it doesn't, you know, collapse when you water it. So there's my cell pack. Now, Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just making just a slight depression in the middle of the soil here. Okay, there we go, just... Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually using... <laughs> you can use anything, but the downside that I find to this method, if there is one, is the handling of the seeds. You, you do have to be very gentle when you handle them. You, you don't want to damage that growing tip. So I'm actually just going to use the end of my plant label. You see I've got it picked up there. And I'm just going to use that to pick up the seed and put it in the soil. Now like I said, I'm going to put two in there. 
I'm going to put two in this one. Oh, come on. And then one seed in that last one. Just like that. Now, now the next step is just to very lightly, lightly cover those seeds up with a little bit of soil. You don't want to be too much just so that they're nice and covered and they stay moist because you know, now, now that you've got that growing process going, you want to keep it going without causing too much damage to it. And there's my plant marker, which can go in there, which shows what I've got in there are or orange habaneros. So that's first, first seeds planted of the seed and yay. <laughs> so excited to get my hands in some soil and you know, the, officially the garden has started. <laughs> At least I like to think of it that way. So I have gone through some of these. I'm gonna have to go, go through some of these again, I think maybe in another day or two, because I think some of them may be just on the verge of sprouting, like the uh, Jamaican Scotch bonnet looks like it's pretty close. Um, like I'll have to open them up and actually take a good close look at them. I notice sometimes you can just hold them up to the light and you can just see if there's anything coming, you know, sprouting or coming through. But some of them, I think I might have to just open them up and just take a good visual look and see what's going on in there. Some of them are nowhere near looking like they're going to sprout, but that's okay. <laughs> We've got lots of time. So hopefully they will be, the rest of them will be sprouting very soon. And then I can get them in some soil as well. So thank you so much for joining me. It's such an exciting time to have the seeds already going and, and, and sprouting so yay yay for the garden of 2022 so thank you for joining me uh, today on this Sunday Sunday morning um, I hope you had a great weekend and a great day and I hope your week next week is awesome so until next time take care